Hey guys, I'm super excited. I just received these no cow protein bars from Amazon and I was asked to review them and share my opinion. I'm always looking for a good protein bar. First, I wanna tell you how much I appreciate you clicking on Cricut Creations with Tori. My channel is a do-it-yourself crafts channel, so if you haven't seen any of my do-it-yourself tutorials, you should stick around after the video and check one out. I also wanted to say I hand pick each product I review and I will provide you with my honest opinion on those products. These reviews are essential in helping my channel grow, so I thank you for your support. So let's get started. So in the box, you receive 12 protein bars, and this is actually a dipped variety pack, and it's of wonderful colors, and you get two of these, and two of these, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I also want to let you know that No Cow specializes in vegan high protein bars, and they can be found on Amazon and other retailers such as Whole Foods. Each protein bar has 20 grams of plus plant-based vegan protein and has only one gram of sugar. They're made with brown rice for enhanced taste and texture and dairy-free, which is great. Some people have issues with consuming too much dairy, like maybe acne or bloating. So it's great that they're dairy free for those that have those issues. So interesting fact, each no cow protein bar requires 47 times less water and three times less carbon to produce versus competitors whey protein bar. So that's pretty interesting. So let's get tasting you guys. As I said, these are all dipped and this one is chocolate sea salt. So you'll get two of the chocolate sea salt. And this one is chocolate sprinkled donuts. And again, you'll get two. And then there is chocolate mint cookie, um, chocolate salted caramel. That sounds really good. And chocolate peanut butter cup for the chocolate lovers and chocolate coconut almond this one sounds good too so let's go ahead open up and try them all right so let's go ahead first i'm going to go ahead and start with the chocolate coconut almond so let's go ahead and open it up and see how it tastes okay so this is what it looks like chocolatey it has um some speckles on the outside, which I'm assuming is the almond. So let's take a bite. That one's not bad. And you can really taste the coconut. It's really coconut-y. Coconut-y. <laughs> coconut I would say it's good. This one's good. Let me get a drink to clean my palate. Wow. And it's 20 grams of protein. That's awesome. Okay, so this one I would say is like a four and a half out of five. I think it tastes pretty good. Let's do chocolate salted caramel. Let's try this out. Okay, so. Mm, I like that one. Mm-hmm, very chocolatey, salted, caramel tasting. Um, you know, again, it's a protein bar, so it's not a candy bar, but it tastes good. So it's a little too chocolatey. I would have preferred just salted caramel. So I would probably give this like a three and a half. Okay, let's go ahead and try uh, chocolate sprinkled donuts. Ooh, so pretty, you guys. Check it out. You get the little sprinkles. Can you see that? Cute. Like a little donut. <laughs> okay, so let's try this. Mm. It breaks in your mouth. Mm. Mm. That one doesn't really taste like chocolate sprinkled donut. Okay. Mm. 
I'm not really sure about that one. It's not bad, but I wouldn't buy a chocolate. I wouldn't buy a chocolate donut, so not my favorite. Okay, let's try chocolate sea salt and the little sea salts on the outside. That one's good. I like that one. So the chocolate sea salt, I, I like. I really like that. It has that um, chocolatey, but it has like a strong um, sea salt. And so it tastes really good. I like this one. But again, just to say it's a protein bar. So it's not going to taste like a candy bar. So, and you know, the benefit is all the protein that you're getting from the bar and that it's low in sugar. So let's try the chocolate peanut butter cup. Let's check it out. They're like breaking your mouth. Mm. I don't know. I don't really taste the peanut butter. Well, a little bit. Like the aftertaste is a little like hint of peanut butter. But mostly I taste chocolate. I don't know. Two and a half out of five. Hmm, maybe three if you're a if you really love chocolate. Okay. And let's try the chocolate mint cookie. I really I like chocolate, but too much chocolate tasting is too much for me. Okay, so this this is the chocolate mint cookie. And it has the little I guess those are little mints on top. So let's go ahead and um, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's go ahead and try that. You taste the mint. I wouldn't say it's super minty. Again, more chocolatey. So if you're a chocolate lover, that'd be perfect. And the aftertaste is minty. But I would say these are good. I wouldn't say they're fabulous. But I really, I haven't had a protein bar that I think is. So, you know, the, the main thing that you are getting from the protein bar is the protein. And it's no cholesterol, which I love. And the sugar is one. And then also your dietary fiber is 15. So I think this is a great option for a protein bar. And I would buy it again. I didn't buy this box, like I said, but I would buy it again. And um, because it's for the nutrients, it's, you know, but so I would say, check it out. You guys try it. It's um, a protein bar and that is it. So I will go ahead and leave um, the link below if you're interested. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.